Okay. My name is Anand Bala and I work with Zoom. I've been with Zoom uh, for close to three years now. And I'd like to share a big, big thank you for everybody in this room for standing through us, for helping us scale and for making Zoom ubiquitous uh, in India when it comes to collaboration. So thank you. Thank you for your business and thank you for everything uh, that you've done in terms of feedback uh, to help us grow. Today in the marketing world, uh, our product stack, at least parts of it are ubiquitous between, for marketers, right? Almost everybody here I'm sure has heard, has used and been part of products such as a Zoom webinar or a Zoom event and have used uh, the stack in some way to reach out for a consistent experience with your customers, right? But before I get into some of that, uh, a quick question. How many of you have done a UPI transaction? Google Pay, GPay, okay? Anybody here who hasn't done, okay, no, just kidding. I think everybody here has done a UPI transaction. Why does it work so well? It's easy to use. Right? Anybody and everybody can use it. From an 18 year old, 8 year old, even a kid can possibly log in and figure out how to use a UPI transaction. To an 80 year old, it's exceptionally easy to use. It's safe, it's secure, and it scales. And it scales exceptionally fast. Billions and billions of transactions that are happening far ahead of any other country, right? When we speak to our folks in finance and say, we need to bring UPI QR codes onto our invoices. They're saying, okay, what is this online transaction? We are far ahead of the rest of the world. Zoom is very similar uh, in that perspective in the sense that it's simple. Nobody has ever told me it's not easy to use. It just works, right? Uh, there was a time when I would have my eight-year-old kid and my eight-year-old -year, eight dad and me, all three of us at the same time on a call, Zoom call, right at peak, right? Anybody and everybody is able to use it. And scale, we've seen that, right? Where we had, at one stage, we had over, I think, uh, 300 million users on the platform at any given moment or minute, and it worked. It wouldn't fail us, right? Uh, now, I'd like to also stand up, and how many, okay, before that, how many people here are from a marketing background? A uh, big round of applause to all of you because you have been on a roller coaster over the last three years. The world has changed, it's gone up, it's gone all around. Uh, fasten your seat belts time multiple times. And now when the pandemic is far, far, far behind us, and we are moving forward. Tushar, what's the cost of a one-way ticket from Bangalore? The approval you sent me yesterday. 18,000 rupees for a one-way ticket. How are you supposed to plan events with that kind of disruption happening from an economic standpoint, right? Everybody is asking for productivity. Shantanu even used the word kanjus, right? We all, are in a, we all are in a place where we have to do far more with less. And nobody knows that better than the folks in this room in marketing. So I am in some senses carrying coal to Newcastle here because if anybody knows how to stretch a rupee, it's probably the folks uh, sitting in this room, right? 25% uh, of folks who are interviewed under this survey uh, said that the economic shifts that are happening are driving some of the decisions that we're having around marketing, right? There's another reality that's unfolding, right? Uh, we did this event a few weeks back in Bangalore and we thought we'd have uh, all the CIOs come in. Uh, we realized that most of them were not even working out of Bangalore. They were still working out of home. In fairly nice remote areas away from Bangalore's legendary traffic and pleasant weather, but they were working remotely, right? You've got your entire ecosystem working literally remotely. And employees even today are saying two out of every three or two out of five days in a week or three out of five days in a week, please do not expect me to come into office, right? And as somebody from Bangalore, I will not discuss traffic any further. I will, if you want, discuss weather because I do beat Delhi on that front, right? But what is the most important aspect from a marketer standpoint, right? We know the economic headwinds. We know the hybrid. We know that bringing people together is tough. Yes, the large events will continue to happen, but it's about content, right? We are seeing 
that the emphasis on content that marketers are creating is increasing. The, the way we need to measure it, how we deliver it, and making that content available on demand is becoming critical, right? So you take what we've done, easy to use, simple, just works, works well in uh, low bandwidth scenarios, and you put products that cater specifically for events, large events, marketing events, or even small events, and make them available on demand, right? Imagine if this event was hybrid, and you could have CMOs coming from all across the country, listening into the session, working from a hybrid environment. To be able to deliver that on demand without having to think about what is the technology, what are the algos, uh, or having to spend a tremendous amount of money and bucket loads of people to configure such an event, that's where Zoom comes in uh, to help, right? And I'm repeating that again. Easy to, easy to set up your event, exceptionally easy to measure what are the outcomes. We integrate with almost every single CRM system out there. Uh, we've got a marketplace that has integrations. So you can pull leads back in. You can pull leads from your system, send them out. You can have a ticketing system in place as well that will tell you who can and cannot come into an event. And you can have this event running on demand as well. So imagine a situation where you've actually brought four or five C-levels together to speak uh, to an audience, but you want to be able to replay and reuse this content again and again and again. We've launched something called uh, Simulive uh, very recently, which comes along with a product called Sessions, which will allow you to use this content on a consistent basis and reuse that. Whereas now it just allows you to do far more in terms of your sessions and investments that you make, uh, allows you to do far more for less, right? Very flexible as you go. Uh, Data is everything. I'm not going to, again, once again, carry uh, coal to Newcastle here, but data is absolutely critical to today's marketer. Uh, I know I keep asking Rima, uh, who manages marketing for, for my team, this question every day. What's going to be your contribution to revenue this month, this quarter, and this year? H1, where are we going to end in terms of revenue contribution? To be able to find the analytics that will be able to tell you from the events that I've run in a hybrid mode, from the events that I've done purely in a virtual mode. This is the amount of leads that we've actually generated. And these are the amount of leads you would then go into your system and say leads that have been touched, right? Uh, and more importantly, bring your brand into this as well as you're building that through, right? Uh, the feedback that we have been getting from the market is a huge adoption that we are seeing around our webinar product. Two products that we launched recently are the sessions product and the events product. What's the main difference between our traditional webinar events and sessions? Just gives you a tremendous amount of capability around production, right? Like we have a lounge here in the back where uh, speakers who are coming on stage can be prepped, you can mic them up, and you can have a conversation in the lounge with other speakers before they come on stage. Giving that kind of capability pre-production and managing this kind of interaction that we're able to have in a live environment, including the networking that happens outside there, right? Those are functionality that we're bringing in. And then to be able to also extract data from that kind of networking. So imagine if you have five stalls, five booths, you've got uh, displays that are running outside to know who all came in and a bit more than just a fishbowl full of visiting cards. What were the questions that were asked? Are they appropriately manned, right? Have we been able to resolve other questionnaires? Capturing that information and feeding it straight back into your CRM system and other marketing uh, uh, tech that you use to be able to allow sales folks like me to pick up the phone and have a conversation that says, hey, Mr. Customer, we heard you had a question around this. Can you let me know why that was important to you, right? And have that conversation around what's driving the interest uh, in what you spoke about. But the key aspect here is, Continuing, and I think it was it was referred to in the previous presentation as well. I think Deepak brought it up. Continuing to have that human touch, right? To be able to continue to have that interaction, even in a virtual world, by providing uh, the functionality to say three, four people together can actually interact in that virtual environment and in a hybrid environment, right? To be able to do events both ways, right? Uh, one amazing platform. 
that brings four integrations such as SDKs, both for extremely customized solutions. You have video SDKs. We've got meeting SDKs that take uh, all the bells and whistles that come with a traditional uh, Zoom webinar or a Zoom meeting and deliver the same consistent experience for your customer irrespective of which device from where and how they are joining. More importantly, click a button, it's easy to use and just works, right? 1,600 plus, plus features launched in the last two years. We'll continue to innovate and we'll continue to innovate fast. Uh, I know many of you will have four, uh, questions to me around Anand when we bring Zoom phone to India. Bear with me, uh, it is coming, it's a few months away but we'll get there. Now imagine the full stack, events, webinar, phone, chat, integrations with CRM and other marketing tools along with SDKs and video SDK all coming together under one screen delivering that consistent experience. Step back and you look at the macro environment. The emphasis that's there on productivity to say get more done with less again. The answer is here. How do we keep replicating these events? You've done one well, you've learned something. How do we can it and keep launching it in every place? I have a customer uh, who was running events in every single tier two town for his distributor network. We have now moved the whole thing onto the Zoom events platform. And most of the time they are doing a simulive where the keynotes are canned, well scripted, and local speakers come in towards the end. But the amount of interaction that they're able to have in that hybrid environment has driven a tremendous amount of interaction for them. Last but not least, keep it secure, keep it private, and make sure that information is very, very tightly secured. By the way, Zoom events uh, does come under the social media regulatory. So we are uh, regulatory uh, environment in India. So we are fully compliant there as well, where uh, all chats that happen within that environment are closely monitored and we are compliant with what the government uh, has, right? All of us, anybody here who's used the Zoom webinar? I'm sure most of us would have logged in at some stage. Thank you. Uh, my team does a good job then. Okay. Uh, classic use case, uh, you want to do a small event, 100, 150 people, uh, one to many kind of environment, maybe up to 500. Yes, we do have capacities up to 50,000. But for those, we'd say go in for a Zoom session. And we also have now the ability to bring in professional services. Uh, We've done an event in Thailand where we had 50,000 plus people live on screen. Uh, it was, a lot of it was orchestrated by our professional services team as well, right? Uh, the key difference between a Zoom sessions and a Zoom webinar is the branding that we allow you to bring in and customize the branding that you would like to see on the home screen. You're not seeing too much of Zoom, 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 but you will be able to bring your own branding onto sessions, right? And the ability to ticket as well. Events. High scale, you want to have booths, customer facing, and you want to run multiple session tracks. You could have an event like this with five different tracks happening in a hybrid environment. You would go in for something like sessions there. I'm sorry, I'm going into a, a kind of like a product detail here, but at the end of the day, depending on your need and who your end customer is, the location and the scale and size of the event, we will be able to deliver a session for you, which you can manage yourself. And if you still say, Anand, I don't want to manage it myself, can you get guys to do it? We do have uh, the professional services team to do it as well. I hope I've stayed on time uh, with that. Thank you very much. And by the way, it's very nice to meet people and talk to people in person without having to do it behind a Zoom screen. Yes, it does feel good when you do it that way as well. Thank you very much, everybody.